Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm Dee Dee. And I'm Alma. Alma? What I'm did you say? Dee Dee. Dee Dee? Yes. Oh, that's an unusual name. Yes, it's a bit unusual with that. I, I live life a bit outside the, the square yeah. and I wear a seahorse. What's a seahorse for? Well, the seahorse is the only animal that can change at will. Ah. Oh, when the female has its eggs, it changes to a male. The male carries the eggs. Oh. Once they're hatched, it then turns back into a female. It's the only animal that can do it. It represents trans, and uh, this has been a big part of my life. Yeah. Describe who you are to one another in four lines. Oh, you just described who you are, haven't you? In four lines. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really good question. I don't think that's it's that's hard. hard. I like myself. I know who I am. I don't want to be anybody else. I'm happy in my own skin. Are you? Yes and no. I'm not proud of being a trans person, but I'm not ashamed either. Well, why should you not be proud? I'm proud of the person I have become as a you trans. You are who you are. You can't change that. I'll never be ashamed of it. If I hadn't recognised and accepted myself, I doubt I would be alive today. When did you come out to say you were? When I was 25. Oh, all that time. Yeah, 30 time. years ago. Did you uh, go to the Mardi Gras? I've been in the Mardi Gras. It's awesome, isn't it? Do you know, I went to the first one with my husband in 1978, and it was scary because it was a good march and everything, and then people were getting bashed up. Yeah. They've come a long way now. Everybody's accepting now, which is a good thing. They're accepting to a degree, but uh, yeah, it'll be a long time before yeah. it's, it's where it should be, yeah. unfortunately. Mm. Discuss what in your life do you feel most grateful for? Well, I'm grateful for I met my second husband. It's good that you went around the mulberry tree twice, because if you didn't go around the first time, you wouldn't have got the second one. That's right. Yeah. You turned out to be the love of my life. And I was very lucky. We all make mistakes in life, that I, yeah. I made mine by putting faith in, in wrong friends, wrong time, yeah. and should have known better. And I found myself homeless. Didn't have a roof over my head, didn't have any. I had an idea that the worst of time was coming and, and I scoped that out. So I had myself a, a nice, comfortable park bench. Yeah. Um, Call that comfortable? I had a view, I had a view Did and you? all. That really struck home as to how bad life was. Yeah, yeah I. I contemplated suicide quite a yeah. bit at the time and, and I went close. But there's too much to live for regardless of who you are or what you are. In 1986 I got knocked down on the footpath by a truck and he pinned me against the fence and I lost my leg. And so this is a prosthesis. And I was a bit down at the beginning. I thought, what will I do? Like you, I could have been on the street. You don't know these things. But I think it's compensated in a way for having a good life with people around me because I've made more friends and more people I've met than I would have if I hadn't had the accident. I'm lucky. Yeah. yeah. With the assistance I got, I got out of it. Philip there at Uniting helped set me up. And now I'm housed, I've got a nice place. My thought, that being trans, they wouldn't want a bar or save me. It couldn't be further from the truth. Yeah, they've been marvellous. Now it's Eleanor uniting. The place is perfect. What made me feel that my life had changed for the better, really, in a way, because I've known a lot of people, made a lot of friends, and come and go as I like. And I've got a nice view of the square and all greenery, and it's great. So you settled now, are you? Everything's right yeah, with the world. Yeah. I'm hoping there's a few more stages for me to go I'm on yet. I'm hoping <laughs> a few more stages too. I don't want to go anywhere yet. <laughs> That's good. <laughs>